That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 16 after 9 o'clock. It is uh, 18 degrees downtown, heading for a high. The weatherman says 20 degrees. We disagree, believe me, here at the breakfast show. We say 30 plus easily. Well, 30 odd says Barbara. I'd say 30 plus. Uh, no cloud. It's going to be a blinder. Keep an eye out for that. And uh, slip, slap and slop if you got the chance. Tuesday, November 26th, and absolutely elated today because good old friend the Galaxy 107 FM is Merv Penny. He's come back to join us and he's brought his daughter this time. Uh, good morning, Merv. How are you? Oh, good, thanks, Grant. Great, great to be back. It is an absolute honour to have you back with us again. And Zoe, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You know, um, we're going to talk about and release your brand new song, Lover. Of course, uh, this is a remake of, uh, of what you've already done. Just polished it up a lot. I absolutely love that. Uh, but first of all, Merv, let's go back in the day and talk about Obi, Can You Hear the Children Cry? Okay, yep. Yeah. Now, tell, uh, tell me all about it because, believe me, you have one hell of a lot of people that's been watching this and streaming it live on the internet. How did you do that? Um, well, we, we sort of set up a campaign that uh, because it was it was about social action and it was about, you know, children affected by uh, war and terrorism and, you know, all the effects that they come under, which people quite often forget. So all the politicians and everything, we, you know, they, they try and take over everything and and, and actually what gets left behind is it's just a whole lot of children in, in dire straits, you know. So I decided to write a song about that and um, and release it, you know, for that reason and, you know, for the children's sake, if you like, so we could actually, people could actually have a look and say, hey, shit, this was really happening out there. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we sort of, you know, did a, did a good job of, um, you know, making the video and, and, and sort of touching on those points without sort of being too offensive, you know. Um, but, of course, the video was very, very popular and um, it had a sort of a unique uh, sort of style about it, you know, and I hadn't made a video before, but it was probably broke all the rules. Um, and, and that's probably what appealed to people, you know. Uh, Exactly, and believe me, I think it appealed to me, but uh, at the same time, uh, I like damn good music, I really do, and especially if it's coming out of New Zealand uh, and the far north. He's, ha uh, he's had over 20 million views and streams with 340,000 followers. You know, he's giving us a run for our money, I'm pretty sure of that, uh, but that's a huge success case for a New Zealand artist, don't you think? Yeah, uh, yeah, I've been extremely lucky, and um, uh, you know, a lot of su ex success in sort of Canada, or America, with with college radio, and that's been a big help. Uh, also, this week we hit number five on the I iTunes rock charts in Norway, which is a, a brand new area for us. And we've noticed with the new last two songs that we've sort of started to break ground in in Europe. So, um, that and that's the first. Uh, you know, for, for me, especially with um, Spotify and iTunes, yeah. You know, that's really, really cool. Uh, in fact, speaking of Norway, we're going to be interviewing a uh, band out of Norway called Viking Kings, uh, Viking Queens, Viking Queens, very, very shortly. So, you know, we're played there as well, to be very honest with you. Uh, I'm being told 64 countries, 92 cities are hooked in right now. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, Norway, because um, you, you put me on the charts up there, so big, big thanks to them guys. Exactly. You know, we've got to take it where we can get it, and Norway, hey, that's a good one. Anyway, right here at Galaxy 107 FM, joined live by Merv Penny and Zoe Penny. Yes, Obi, can you hear the children cry? <laughs> Hi Cheryl darling. Hi Tina from Germany. How are you feeling guys? Oh I'm good, yeah. Nice, nice. Um Zoe, I'm you. sorry to do this to you, honestly, but this is what we do. 
<laughs> and uh, don't, don't it's worry. Good for us. We will make sure that Merv gets a copy of everything. I'm sure he'll share it to you. You'll want to bin it immediately. No, she won't, and she's going to spread yeah. the word. You're gonna, oh, she's going to spread the word. Yeah. yeah, don't do this with this guy. No. <laughs> He's a nut. Um, well, yeah, I'll agree with the end bit. The oh, end okay, end, yes. nice. Cheryl, absolute pleasure to have you joining us. Everybody else is joining us this morning. Tina New Zealand Germany. artist coming out of, of course, the far north here in New Zealand is Merv Penny. And today he's joined by his daughter Zoe. They are releasing with us love it their new work right here at galaxy loving this really are so um Merv, i'm going to ask you how we can get hold of you because the fans really want to know um zoe i don't know whether you want to answer that one or not uh, because basically if you think about it today's modern database is on the internet isn't it this is where your fans oh, are these days really? you know so uh, i don't know zoe whether you want another five thousand facebook fans or not <laughs> Um, I won't apologise. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I won't. Probably, probably, probably the best way to get hold of me is to um, email me at Zoe at Zoe Penny. Zoe Penny 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 at well, we'll look. Uh, we'll tell them to look up the the, the Merv Penny on Instagram and um, and the Facebook page. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah. at, at the same time, my friend, um, it is so good to have you uh, still making music. I hope uh, you guys are going to be rocking through the festive seasons. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, well, I actually played at the um, Kerry Kerry Street Party on uh, Saturday night, which is which I did an acoustic set. Okay. Uh, and it was it was awesome. Yeah, it was well received, and so, so many followers here from from Kerry. Kerry, it was really great. Nice, nice. Well, I tell you what, uh, Mo, I I am serious about wanting to do a show there. Um, so please keep in contact with Barbara because we have quite a few things in the uh, in the mix over the next two years coming up. So uh, we we want to be able to get these artists from overseas as much exposure to New Zealand as possible. So we, we're looking about five, six shows throughout New Zealand. Oh, yeah. No, it turns out to be right on there. We've got big PA and everything. Nice. That means I don't Deadline have to bring... Deadline brace system. Yeah, it doesn't... Uh, that means I don't have to bring my own, which is... Big. Yeah, uh, no, we've got a big, big setup. Nice, nice. At the same time, we could actually use you and, of course, Zoe, in uh, doing some curtain raises for us. What do you reckon? Oh, sounds great. Nice. Time to make a buck or two. Anyway, let's go back to the... Go back to the desk. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy, 107 FM, 25 after 9 o'clock, 19 degrees, not bad, not bad, heading for a higher 20, but I think we're going to do a lot better than that. Tuesday, November 26th, and absolutely elated, joined uh, by Merv Penny, coming out of Kiri Kiri, I, I do have that right, you're up in Kiri Kiri right now? Yep, yep, Kiri Kiri, yep. Absolutely nice to have a fellow Kiwi, and you've brought your daughter, of course, Zoe, welcome along, Zoe. Thank you. Now, Zoe, I don't know a lot about you, so tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been singing? I haven't liked singing my whole life, but never really like thought about it as a career um, until, of course, um, my dad peer pressured me into doing some backing vocals for a song. You wouldn't do that, would you, Bev? <laughs> <laughs> 
you got to chuck them in the deep end. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I fully agree. And I'm glad you did because uh, this might be a hallmark moment right now where Zoe breaks out into the music industry and becomes a superstar uh, along with her father. This is a great deal. Yeah, it is, it is a good deal, yeah. <laughs> and it gives her, gives, gives her good in, in experience and insight into the, uh, into the whole world of music, yeah. Absolutely. Now, Merv, uh, I've got to ask you, I don't, I don't really know that Zoe's going to want to answer this, but how do we get a hold of you? Believe me, the fans want to know. Uh, are you on Instagram? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Facebook? But more importantly, Merv, do you respond? Yes, yes, I do. I try to interact as much as I can on on Facebook. Uh, Instagram's quite big for me as well. So um, you know, uh, you know, just hunt up Merv Penny on Instagram or uh, Kiwi Hard Rockers or Merv Penny on on Facebook. You'll you'll find me on those too. Uh, I try to respond to everybody. Uh, you know, um, it's sometimes hard if there's if there's something going on and and you know there's hundreds of messages you know but I, I do respond to all of them as best I can yeah well now you're going to get another 7,000 Instagram messages I feel sorry for you <laughs> <laughs> nah it's all good it's quite good because it sort of tells me what what people are thinking and they you know they give me feedback on what they what they think and I, I know where to go next and and it, it's actually quite a big help for an artist to, to communicate with the with the people that are listening to the music, so I, I really encourage people to, to get on with us. Even if we're playing live, you know, come up come up to the to the stage after we've been playing or something, and, and I'd just love to talk to them and find out where they're from and, and what sort of music they listen to. Exactly. Now, at the same time, the last time we spoke, Merv, I think we was on the side of the road in no rewire, um, nice. where we did an interview with you. You showed me the beach. I'm very familiar with that beach, actually. Uh, but we'd released Lover back then. Now? Uh, yeah, I think I think there was a Lover uh, that we released then. I think that was the, the Prisoner song. Ah, uh, yes, you're right, actually. Yeah. I, I stand corrected. I really apologise about that. But you have no, done Lover. Uh, now you've re, uh, reworked it, you've given it a bit of juice and added an extra voice, namely Zoe here. Now, um, first of all, why? What made you want to re your lover? Uh, well, I was, I was actually got to the point where I'd actually mastered it down and I was ready to release it and I decided that it was missing something. Um, you know, and, and of course... Uh, this, the song was sort of like about social media and relationships and everything and you know I'd seen you know Zoe going through stuff on her you know social media and it was just so so different for for when I was uh, younger that we didn't have all that stuff flying out on Instagram every day or, or Facebook you know so uh, bringing another voice in was was you know as soon as I heard that voice in the chorus, I knew straight away that this this was what I was really after, and um, I actually scrapped the other the other version and and and, and you know re-recorded and um, remastered the song. And I, it's not uncommon for me to do that to get to a point and say I'm not I'm not satisfied. I've got to do this again. You know, uh, uh, that's just the mark of a professional, though, my friend. It really, really is. And uh, more ingenious, you turned. To this solution, believe me, it works. Yeah, yeah, it does. And it, you know, as soon as you, you know, as soon as you hear that vocal in there, just it, it adds another layer that was necessary. Um, and of course, then uh, because it was sounding so great, I decided to go to, um, you know, uh, go go to Calby, which is it's won um, a lot of um, Grammy awards for his mastering, and I decided to get him to master it. And of course. I think that was another good move that just added another little dimension that that was going to be good for radio and good for for the Spotify and, and the iTunes fans, you know. Exactly. Now, Zoe, are you happy with this work? Um, yeah, I think for one of my first songs, um, it's good. Absolutely, because you've got to start out making a point in the world, don't you? And giving it the yeah. uh, giving it the onion, if you know what I mean. So I reckon this is one heck of a first step. I really, really do. So here at Galaxy 107 FM, 
featuring Zoe Penny is Moon Penny, their latest song, Lover. I'll put that up on uh, the post afterwards, guys. Okay, okay. So um, how are you feeling, guys? Oh, good. Thanks, Grant. Yeah, great. Nice, nice. Um, <laughs> Keep smiling, <coughs> smiling, mate. Um, I'm, I'm Callum, just in touch. She's busting to get here. Yeah, no, yeah, I know. I'm really yeah. looking. This is one of the artists I was actually telling you about. Actually, is uh, oh. Callum Sayer. Um, plays a bit of blues, a bit of rock blues, much like yourself. I think you'd fit in like a like a glove, you know. And um, this is what I had in mind. Uh, and. Right. and um, we, we could discuss whether you want to do one show, where you are, or whether you want to do the whole enchilada, something like that, um, because we're actually oh, seriously look, looking about March next year. Yeah, I'm, well, I was actually planning to try and do something in March or April next year, so it would really suit me to do all the shows. Nice, um, nice. Yeah, it, all, um, all the better. I mean, food, you know, there's two ways I can, I can perform either acoustic or with my band. Uh, the band is really good. Nice, like, nice. It's a pro band. I, I like a band. Yeah. <laughs> I like a band. Yeah, you know, right. fattens up the sound. It really does. Uh, yeah, well, we've got the we've got the BBs and the and the another guitarist that comes in. You know, um, bass, drums. Really nice. good players. Nice, liking uh, it, liking it. Uh, but at the same time, Zoe can keep us in the straight and normal country. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Good on. <laughs> Right, Aaron Barber. She'll be, she'll be there doing BBs. Yeah, exactly. Hold on. Let's go back to the desk. <laughs> chop chop. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy, 107 FM, 26 hours away from 10 o'clock, almost time for me to finish the breakfast show, 18 degrees right now, heading for a high 20 degrees, so the weatherman says, don't believe him at all, I think it's going to get a lot hotter than that. Tuesday, November 26, and of course we're talking live, coming out of Kiri Kiri right now with Merv and Zoe Pinney. Father and daughter, by the way, and uh, these guys are making a huge sensation right here at Galaxy. They really, really are. And uh, by curiously, I think I'm putting a concert together right now, too, <laughs> which is really, really good. Looking forward to doing something with that. I really am. Now, uh, Merv, you've been playing since you were about 10 years of age. Of course, you uh, bought yourself a guitar off your brothers back in the day and then went and joined them and became... Uh, the famous Merv Penny farmer, singer, and rocker uh, that we know now. Also, uh, you have connections with Devil Skin, don't you? I do, yeah. Um, yeah, Nail out of Devil Skin is actually my first cousin, so um, we keep, keep it in the family, I guess. Nice, nice. Well, I tell you what, uh, as I was saying about uh, concerts and stuff coming up, uh, we are talking to a guy from a band called The Mighty One, would you believe? He looks like Nail, the only thing is he doesn't have a red beard, everything else fits, it really, really does. Uh, and he is quite a rocker in his own right, loving his music, I really am. He wants to come to New Zealand as well, so maybe we might be able to do a move, Penny, Devil Skin and uh, The Mighty One kind of show. Well, I think so, I know uh, we'd be Thank keen to sound. try something here in, uh, in Kerry Kerry and then we could sort of sweep our way down through the country, couldn't we? Yeah, we could always threaten the rest of the country once we leave Kerry Kerry. <laughs> I love that. I really, really do. Uh, I'd like to do one outside Parliament buildings just for the hell of it. Why not? Yeah, you know, let's, <laughs> let's worry Jacinda. Come on out, party with us. Let's do that. Uh, Merv, it's been an absolute pleasure catching up with you again. It really, really has. Uh, now, I'm hoping that we can do this again uh, in the new year, when you come out with all new stuff, I know there's something in the works there. There certainly is. I've got a song um, 
coming out, which is it's probably a little bit different. It's upbeat. It's really fun. It's a it's a fun song that I've always loved, uh, and it's got a bit of a bit of a punk element to it. So, um, but uh, yeah, that's ready to go, and we'll be releasing that probably in January. Nice, because believe me, bro, uh, we love Merv Penny and Merv Penny music. Now we love Merv and Zoe Penny music. We really, really do here. And uh, Zoe, please, please, please keep doing this. You've got a career here. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll tell you what, can't wait to see you two live on stage. Uh, looking forward to meeting up with you uh, in person, by the way. Uh, we've only ever seen each other on a piece of plastic. Uh, but having said that, guys, have a very happy Christmas, very, very prosperous New Year. Stay safe and, and uh, don't fight too much. And uh, we won't. Uh, thanks very much for having us, Grant. And, uh uh, I'd like to wish all the all the Galaxy listeners a very Merry Christmas and all the best for the new year and, and thank them for all their support for our music. Well, it is our pleasure. Don't forget, 29 days away from Christmas, so <laughs> uh, go, go, go and get yourself a couple of shows. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, I tell you what, we are looking at doing some things uh, in the new year. We really, really are. So please stay in touch with Barbara. She will fill you in, and believe me, it's exciting. It really, really is. But in the meantime, don't go anywhere just yet, guys. We're just going to do a couple of crazy photos, maybe a little video or two. You know how it works, Mark. Uh, move. Yeah. It is. Okay, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and somebody we spoke to yesterday, Jerry Sarita and Undamwinded.